All right, we are back with another episode of OOTP. First things first, we have some things to look at. Alex, for starters, after we dropped to 20, but we're almost at the end of the season, so we're going to look at the schedule shortly. Just, uh, we're, we're going to get eliminated. This drop is going to finish. We're going to look at a couple things first. First, we need a pitching coach for our rookie league. Let's start there. So, get pitching coach. We have average and unproven. Average, fair. Unproven interests me because it could be, you know, whatever. It's rookies. I don't really want to mess around with that too much. Just so you guys get named Connor. Um, I said tidy at first. I'm like what? Mm. <laughs> like if anyone had the first name Davis, I would take them. Um, so terrible. The Davises that are there aren't that good. Um, I don't want someone super old though for rookies. Go with someone who's a 7 here. He's 57, 44, 18. I'll go with them. See if we can get Dickinson. The pitching works with power pitchers. I don't have power pitchers though. The pitchers I got were finesse pitchers, so I guess we can't go with them. Next then was someone who's mid 40s, right? No. The next shot, man, 54. That's not super old. Guess this not interested, decent pissing coach, power pitchers, handle veterans player a bit of it. Can't go with him either. Shoot. Rick. Power pitchers. Shoot. Dusty. Keeping the ball down. Not gonna lie, I'm just this isn't working out well. Veteran players say they enjoyed. Alright, we'll do this guy. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Nothing good. I'm not seeing anyone that's really jumping out right now, so it's not a good sign. Control. Okay. No interest. That's you too, then. You don't have a job right now. Whatever. Anyway, let's go down to unproven. This is where we're headed, so might as well. I could manage this one if he wants to. Oh yeah, I forgot. These are this isn't that, it's the it's that week. I'm dumb. Yo sign. Okay, cool. Alright, so we have that taken care of something else we wanted to look at we want to look at this someone who's performing well Alex and December hasn't or December September get to get the month right eventually um one nine hits over seven innings three hits over eight 
six over seven. They only gave up one run and got a loss. Or we lost, but got no decision. He has pitched pretty well. My hope is we can bump him up to AAA next season and start to push for him to potentially get added in the future. It's a little bigger. There we go. Add it on in the future. I'm fine with that. So before we even jump into anything, shall we look at the schedule? Only have a few series left. Two against the three against the Padres. You have two separate series against the Dodgers. The Cubs, trash, and then the D backs. Um, our playoff run or hopes are pretty much over. We're on the chopping block where it's coming. Um we're not making a wild card. We're 10, 12 and a half behind. It's impossible. Well, it's not impossible. It's very improbable. But what we can do is finish second in the division. I think that'd be respectable. Obviously, finishing with a winning record or 500 would be great. But that's also not happening. August has not been kind to us. Or had not been kind to us. So it is what it is. But we will send forward just that. And we will see what we can do here. But three game series against the Padres. Let's send it. See if we can, if we move closer. It's a three game series. So we didn't move closer, farther from 500. At what rate? We don't know. Um, looking at the rotation, Hoffman is up. So look at this guy. Two wins. I could have traded him. This point. Anyway, we'll sim and we will see what the results are. We'll go all the way up because we're definitely going to be out by the time we face the Dodger. Two game series to get B1 and Kershaw. That's a big fat L. Anyway, let's go ahead and sim. All right. Well, we're not going out without a fight, it appears. But we did get our pitching coach. Awesome. Be glad with that. Hmm. Six years, 118 million. Oh, yeah. Oof. That's a lot of money. Something we can't afford. Would have been nice to have him. Flaherty, 13 strikeouts and beating the Cubs. Look at that. Humiliated the Cubs. Oh, yes. Love it. 13 through 2.14 ERA stud. Fly to L. All right, the Angels in the playoffs. Congrats to them. Daniel Murphy, like that. 35-year-old first baseman, 542 average, 13 for 24, two home runs, 11 RBI. All right, eyes, whatever, runs batted in, not run batted in. Finesse, but whatever it is, what it is. So he eclipses a hundred RBIs on the year. Wow. Lester with his 200 point. No. Even I have to applaud that one. It's impressive. Um, unfortunately, we're about to get our shit pushed in. But as you can see here, we swept the Badgers. Something nice. Now who got the wins? That we'll see. First game, nine to five. Early lead, seven to three after two innings. Impressed with what I saw. Very, very happy. Nolan Arenado, two triples. <laughs> Boys came out and just played the butts off. Take that two triples from him. How? I don't even understand, but whatever. Murphy obviously played well. Bertram. Oh, that's what I like to see. That was someone else in that shortstop who plays well. Often with the win. Three runs are in the first two innings and then pitch pretty well the rest of the way. Gomer. Struggled. But that's okay. Almonte got one out to finish the eighth. Richards with the L. Um, Machado stolen base. You. 
No, I can level with it. Hampson is 40th double. Dahl's 34th. Dahl's been relatively healthy all season, too. I'm going to have to say I'm really impressed with his season. 292, 29, and 94. As long as he stays healthy, he has so much potential. He can be he can even be better than what he is now. So we'll take that dub. Second one, we went forward two. He won. Let's go. Let's go. Huge. Um, by the way, bases loaded walk by Bertrams. Shortstop again coming up in a big moment. RBI on draw and a walk. Arenado. Home run. 43. Said 50 is. I think I said 45. 50 is out of question. But 45 is kind of possible. Two more. I don't think that's just anything crazy. Doll, another double. Ultras. 30 doubles. He. For someone who wasn't sure about the catching, he's had a pretty solid season, I must say, in terms of his bat. Helped playing in course, but still, he's, he's been really good. This might be his best start of season. Seven innings, nine hits, only allowed one earned run, eight strikeouts. Castillo, three hits over an inning and two thirds, don't like that, but no runs allowed, and Diaz comes in to get the save. Could have been a six out save with Castillo, but he couldn't finish the job. Regardless, we get a dub. Davies with the loss, Tommy Pham doing damage. Carlos Martinez, I'm sure, got this one. How long did he go? Five and two thirds, three runs, seven hits. Coming in there at the end. Better. Santos, not what I want to see, but we'll, we'll live with it. Nicks with the L. Bertram, two for five, spent 300 so far. Walters, three hit day. Hampson, home run, dog, 30th. Arenado, 44th. Those bats were out. Tatis, 23 and 90. Machado, 22 and 84. Gritchum batting in between. It's not bad. Marcakis batting in there. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. So let's look at the standings. See what, what, what things look like here. <laughs> Braves, a game and a half back. The Nats, mathematically, still in it. Are they? Yes, they're still in it. They can still get 95 ones. Um, so that's still possible. The Reds, half game lead over the Cardinals. Everyone wants the division eliminated. Is that our time is coming. Padres are eliminated. We probably should, you know, pat ourselves on the back because we played a big role in doing that. Four in a row now. We're not making the playoffs still though. We're next on the chopping block. Um eighty five wins. Pretty much our next loss officially. know why the dog is barking but okay anyway our next loss eliminates us or the Cardinals next win so we're losing one of these games to the Dodgers third aces are pitching but it was a good run but in terms of the wild card the Mets are probably out the Nats two games back so three team race there for those two spots, but the Phillies and the Cardinals both in play for their division. Obviously the Dodgers are going to rep home field in the American League, the National League. Look at the other side, Indians two games out, possible. Yankees going to clinch that division with their next game, next win or next raise loss. And then you look at the wild card, the Rays are five and a half back. That's not likely. It's not impossible, but it's not likely. So pretty much that's what you're going to have. They, the Angels likely win the division. The A's as a wild card. Twins and Indians battling for division winner and wild card spot. And then the Yankees kind of cruising there at the end. Well, let's go ahead and send this daughter series so it could be eliminated. And then we can dwell 
and then go whoop up on the Cubs. All right. Well, as you can see by our record, still three games under. We split. We should be officially done for the season in terms of uh, being eliminated. It's going to be painful to, to read that email. It's there. I know it is. Colorado out of time. I have to turn his attention to next season. The team was mathematically eliminated today. They last appeared in 2018. This is their second consecutive year missing. And in total, they have not advanced past the regular season 22 times. There's their 27 history. Six year history. Oof. The last 10 seasons missed seven times. Story being hurt, I just have to wonder if Story was healthy. Having a superstar type bat in the middle of your lineup, and if Mark, if Marquez pitches better, those two things alone, I feel, puts us above 500. Now, where that puts us in terms of playoffs, I don't know. Um, looking at the standings now, we'd have to still be better than what we are to be the Cardinals at the second wild card, and they're above 500, so. How many wins does that account for? Don't know. But I feel like we would be better had we had for sure. But we're three games under 500. Um, nine games left to play. Six and three. I don't think it's out the question. It's just not likely. So let's look at something here. You know, we have the professor, and then we have that bum Lester, and then Alize in the middle. Anyway, let's look at these uh, games. We actually came from behind big time. Looked like we were going to lose. Then they tied it. Then we took the lead in the ninth Murphy home run. Gave up a grand slam. Oh man, just craziness in this game. Viewer was dealing. And then they went to the bullpen. And the bullpen blew it. Castillo blew the save. But it's whatever. We walk away with the win. Arenado is 45th, so he hits that number. Muncie is 48th. Muncie's been a beast. Cage is just out of control. MVP consideration 48 and 131 for sure. Arenado, if he was on a better team, I think would be a more a higher consideration. Plays a more important um, position, too, but I just can't see it. War is 7.2. What's Muncie's? 7.1. But Muncie plays first, and I plays third. His defense is valuable. Anyway, then we lose 1 to 8. What did Muncie do? 2 for 4. So average takes a bump. Arenado, 2 for 4. And a strikeout. Um, only score one run. Kershaw, dominating. What else is new? Freeland with the loss. Is what it is. Going back to look at the standings, look at pennant chase, look at stats at the end of the season. But let's look at pennant chase. Yankees, division clinch. Cool. Minnesota and Cleveland. And close. Still two games with nine to play apiece. Angels, this three-game series against the A's is going to be huge because that'll let you know pretty much if the A's, the A's have to win that series. Preferably a sweep to stay in the hunt for the division, but they're pretty much guaranteed a wild card spot. Bat battling between, um, you know, them battling really to stay in the division, but to stay ahead and to host a wild card game over Cleveland or Minnesota. So that's what we got going on in the American League, National League, three-team race. Nats are hanging in there. They're hanging in. Phillies are going to have a really in, they're going to play, the Braves are going to have a really interesting road here. Because they are going to factor in what happens right away. They have a series against the Phillies and the Nats, depending on those two series. We'll see kind of what happens and if they're going to be able to make a play. The Central three game series in Cincinnati coming up, so we'll see. 
obviously the Dodgers have won the West and then the wild card you got the Phillies and Cardinals and then the Nats are two and a half back you got the Marlins obviously it's a big series for St. Louis big series for Philly so we'll just continue let's go ahead and sim out the series against the Cubs as we near the end of the season with our last three series see if we can make a push here we have to win every series in order to finish 500 we know what we have to do let's see if we can do it good start here all right so we have a retiree I'm gonna say performance that's my guess not playing really well Private message from Wade Davis. I no longer want to play here in Colorado. I should be the closing. You obviously fail to recognize that. I'm asking that you trade me to an organization I should be the way I deserve. First of all, I'm not bringing you back, so you don't have to worry about it. You're gone. I don't know what the hell you're angry about. I want you all to look at this. Look at that URA. Look at that URA. Whip. Negative war. On one per nine. Get the hell out of here. Like, literally, get the hell out of here. Your ass is gone. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, look at contract-wise. He can opt out. I'll trade him in offseason if he doesn't opt out. I don't want him. He's been ass. Just call it what it is. It's okay. Speaking of ass, I wanted to stop here because of that private message just to point that out. We're going to end up simming two series together, but that one definitely made me laugh. Or so rumor has it. I mean, if someone wants to trade for him, I'd be more than happy to. But the deadline's fast, so I can't really do anything. Like I said, we'll see an off season to see if there's anything. I want to. I was going to look and see if they put anything out there. I don't want to look at available jobs anyway. What I want to do is look at the games we lost both. The open, the opening two games of this series. Um, this one. We were down 4 nothing early. We never really bounced back from it. Hoffman, eh. Hendricks pitched well. Six and a third, seven hits, no runs. Timber with the clean inning for the save at the end. We struggled. Hampson getting a little closer to number four. Look at him. He gives it, He's the last pitcher in the game, and he still gives up runs. Like, what are you talking about? Why? Why do you do this to me? Whatever. And then we lose 6-1. to one. This one I was kind of expecting that we'd win. But we lost. And of course, gives up three runs. Santos, three runs. Santos also suspended. Um. Yeah, we'll live with it. Murphy, 50 and 51 for doubles. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Brian, what is 29 feet? You can't stay healthy enough to do that, but whatever. Alright, so there are five games under 500. We're actually going to sim all the way through the Dodgers times two, and then we'll go into the final series. But actually, nah, look at the standings first. What's happening? Yankees, of course, clinch. Cleveland is now three games behind. With seven to go, not likely. Um, Angels two thirds of a way to the sweep. Said they needed the sweep to cut it to two. So if they lose, then you look at six games to go for behind. They have to win this game to <laughs> stay in the hunt. Regardless, Oakland's going to be ahead in the wild card. The Braves four and six respectively. I think they're safe. Reds and Cardinals split the first two, so the third one is all important. 
Um, obviously, the Dodgers have clinched. D-backs look like they're going to finish 500, at least in good, good opportunity. We can try to spoil it. And then, then the wild card, the Nats are a game and a half back. So actually, um, let's go and sim. Yeah, let's just go ahead and sim all the way through the Dodgers series and see where we're at. All right, and we're back. We have another retiree. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be missed. So we have to win out, we have to sweep the D-backs, I believe our last opponent in the final series, Kelly, Ray, and then whoever in the last one. Alright, Baumgartner, I figured, oh, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Well, at least we have that opportunity. Before we even look at the Dodgers series, let's look at the standings. As a whole, Yankees clinch. Still fighting with the Angels for a home field throughout the American League. Uh, Twins clinch the division. Angels essentially have clinched the division, which means that the A's would, so the A's would host Cleveland in the wild card game. Minnesota is going to travel to face who doesn't, who have likely the Yankees or the Angels, whoever doesn't finish. Number one. Okay. And then the National League, I expect the Dodgers to at least win one more game or the Braves to lose one so they would have home field throughout all together. Reds hanging on by a thread. So let's go to Pennant Chase in a sec here. But you have the Nats who, you know, mathematically can't win a division. They're three games behind the Phillies. Who's left? So Minnesota plays the Royals. The Yankees play the Rays. The Angels play the Athletics. Too. This division is not over just yet. If the Angels sweep, or the Angels um, get swept, they're still there. It's possible. Then look at the wild card. You know, obviously Cleveland's going to be traveling for the wild card game. Question is against it. Might be Oakland, but we'll see. Um, the Reds have the Pirates. Have the Cubs, of course they would. The D-backs have us. The D-backs have the same record as us. So even if we don't win out, if we don't sweep them, even if we won. The series we still finish the second place and then wild card the Nats have the Phillies so they ooh, this is gonna be good a good 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 finish we're gonna have to go a day at a time here as it plays out but let's go ahead and check out the Dodgers one two out of three so we lose two out of three to the Cubs then we went two out of three against the Dodgers whatever first game this time Bueller gets the win May comes in struggles Gomer comes in, pitches well. Davis actually pitched well. TG is still trash. Um, did score enough runs. Bottom line. Arenado, two for four. Muncy, 134 RBI. Muncy's going to end up winning MVP. Damn it. Another home run. All right. Second game. That's the first game I'm looking at. Muncy, one, two walks. Arenado, one hit. So batting average is close. Home runs are in the favor of Muncy. RBI is in favor of Arenado. Hampson doesn't with the home run. Got a one off of Kershaw. Got lit up. Good bullpen pitch well too. The two two newer additions pitching well. I'd like to see that. Um, kept Muncy in check enough and then the final game we went nine to six and this will kind of score we got to Kershaw early and pretty much just maintain after that win nine six he scored runs weight but not enough ah Arenado a double let's see what you do damn it two for three two walks average is 295 Arenado one for four 
So the average is the same for both. But it had an RBI total to Arenado, so they're tied. It's going to go down to the wild. To, to the wire, sorry. Bertram, 4 for 4. 300 since coming in. Who would have guessed? And then the win goes to Hoffman. Bullpen, Davis gives up three. Trash. Gomer, injured. But gets two outs. I'll take it. Play Trinan. Queen knife. Queen knife? Was that walk? Walk, okay. Game one. Game one goes to the Rockies. 500 is not that far away. Look at him helping his own cause. A run scoring single in the fifth to give him the lead, and he does not relinquish it, so he's going to end the year with the win, his fourth. Thank you. Rough season for him. Hopefully he's better. But we get the win against Robbie Ray. Uh, you can see there, Bertram. Adding to his hit total. Dahl. Adding to his hit total. A home run, a double. A little bit closer to three hundo. Arenado only gets one, so his average drops. But it's a three-run home run. So hopefully that helps in the MVP hunt. Carson Kelly, 243. Imagine him batting fourth. Weird guy to have batting fourth in your lineup, but it is what it is. But that's not why we're here. We're here to see what happened in all the games played. So, let's look. Alright, Cubs win. Hurtful. So, the Reds also lost, so still one game separating those two. Phillies beat the Nats. So, I think it was, what, a two-game difference? Now it's a three-game difference. So, really, the, the wild card is going to stay the same at the back end. The Cubs are still, it's hard to cut the Cardinals are still ahead of the Nats, so that didn't change anything. Unfortunate for them, Dodgers win, so that gives them 100. That will clinch home field throughout for them. GG's to them, which means that the Padres or Padres um, Braves will host the winner of the NL Central. Uh, the Yankees win. Have you heard that before? Cleveland wins. Come from behind to the Twins lose, so they gain a game there. Trying to close the gap. Gap is to three games. Can't catch them. The A's are going to be who we look at here in just a sec as we go down. Because that's the big game. The A's won. So the A's have officially won the division now. So now when we look at the standings, pennant chase. The division is clinched. So now it's pretty much all we're looking at is Cleveland and Minnesota. Cleveland also, though, has clinched the division. I didn't catch that at first. So you will have Oakland hosting Cleveland in the wild card. And then pretty much TAs are trying to stay ahead of the Yankees in order to play that winner. Minnesota would have to place the Yankees. Whoever Minnesota plays is going to be rough because, you know, they don't win in the playoffs. So yeah, oh yeah, like we said, the Reds are a game ahead of the Cardinals, and in the wild card, Phillies, a two-game lead over the Cardinals, the Nats are officially eliminated from playoff contention. Now the question is, at this point, who would the Phillies host? Let's see, I think it's safe to say we can go ahead and send out now, because the excitement's kind of gone. <laughs> That's all we're looking at, it's just the NL Central. I'll we'll send it out and then we'll see who gets what. Alright, the season is over. So we can just go to the standings regular just to make it easy. Oh, 
all right that'll do it so you can see the angels and yankees are tied don't know who won the tiebreaker um twins will face whoever didn't cleveland will be traveling to oakland for the wild card game in the national league cardinals and reds tied for the division lead i think you have to play that game if i remember correctly and then the braves have home field throughout i'm sorry no they don't dodgers do and then the braves will face the winner of that division and then the Phillies will host the loser very interesting finish to the season there and we can see we lost the last two so we end up finishing third four games under not terrible let's take a look really at this point just seeing it there are not a good um, home run 47 yes off the bump gardener 47 home runs 139 ribbies can tell Marte they played well. Martinez struggled, got pulled early for his struggles, but that's what it is. And then the final game of the season, also a loss, more destructive. Oh, that was that one. Clicked the wrong. No, that, that's not the last game. That's the last game. That's why. Lost three to seven. Parsi Kelly at home and whatever. Of course she would, because that's me. That's why. Oh, blown save. Castillo got lit up. There's your difference. Could have ended on a good note and finished. Still, you know, would have been 80 and 82. Wolpen kind of let me down near the end of the season, especially in the last couple of weeks, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Well. Let's look at some stuff here. Current key shut down for the season. Oh, I missed the last one. It doesn't matter. Thirtieth division title for the Cardinals. Holy crap! Yeah, it's so though. Oh, yeah, it's so though. Thirty-six home runs, one hundred twenty-five RBIs. That's your uh, batting leader. Um, let's look at some stuff here in terms of stats. Just the leaders that we can see. So you can see over here, Murphy finished second. Arenado finished second in home runs, number one in the RBI column. Hampson, one behind Turner in stolen base. That's actually pretty impressive. Big reason why the Dodgers have the record they do. Belly and Muncy. Belly and Seeger. And Soda. Shit. <laughs> and that pretty much is where it ends for us. I know in batter, war. Um, we had no one up there for a bit, but he dropped off. Gallego down there with 37. Like to see that. American League side, you can see Trout. Trout. Being Trout. Second in home runs. Bregman. Second in the R Bregman Alvarez killing in terms of driving in runs. Lindor. Second. Wonder where he ends up. Hmm. I wonder where he ends up. Clevenger wins class now. ERA champ. Mike Soroka on the other side. Joita with the strikeouts. Clevenger just great season all the way around. Wins second most strikeouts, second in ERA. Something tells me he may have something coming his way. Just punch. And then Chapman saves. Chapman knows it in hand. No surprise there. In terms of the Rockies, go to our home screen. ERA, no one would have sub five as a starter. It's a problem. One of the big reasons why we lost, again, pitching. Granted, we play in cores, so cores makes it tough to pitch anyway, but if you look at it, it's kind of tough. If you look at the graph, 
we had our little run earlier we were in first place we dipped off we were still had it late May even early June then we kind of trailed definitely some definitely some you know something to build on we had a good start and the injuries kind of broke us down and things went downhill from that way Davis has to go though look at that ERA 8.33 he definitely is gone at the end of the season I don't care where he goes where the hell he gets shipped to but he's got to go um home runs a lot Hampson we had multiple guys about over 300 that qualified too so that's really big RBI is multiple at over three or whatever 100 so that helps um can't complain cannot complain doll is close to 300 looking at blackman if he didn't get injured four potential players with over 100 ribbies four people with over 20 home runs and then who's left out of this is story who was batting 275 15 and 47 at almost a halfway point so you'd imagine that story would have also had over 100 RBI. so it is what it is but the thing that hurt us and was our downfall era starters last bullpens last fifth last pitching war second to last second to last in strikeouts defensive efficiency last errors last like we were bad in a lot of things so we have to improve there but pretty much the bats we took care of we're near the top in a lot of stuff in the upper third at least we have to be better from the pitcher's perspective that's something that we're going to work on in the offseason so we can maintain our bats so let's kind of sim some stuff out let's sim a week in advance and see where we're at 